Anyway, tonight I went to Zumba and I wanted to share two things about that experience. First one is a celebration. And the celebration is that I was able to do the entire class for the first time without having to sit out any songs. I modify the Zumba. I'm not a Zumba uh, crazy workout woman. Can't do it like some of the other women. So I already modify it, but there were times where I had to sit out because my heart rate would get too high, which is dangerous with my chronic illness. But tonight I didn't have to. My heart rate's um, it's stabilizing and it's my body's getting stronger. So that's really super exciting. And for some reason, I just think you need to see my crazy Zumba pants and shoes. So there you go. Anyway, um, <laughs> so uh, just got to share the crazy. Um, <clears throat> another question that I've been getting is how in the world do you exercise with chronic illness? And that is a really good question and something I've battled for the last 10 years since I've had chronic illness. And I'm just now figuring out things that are working for me and they're working for me right now. So what, there's two main things that I think I can teach you, two steps. One is that trust your body that baby steps will take you somewhere. I never trusted that little baby workouts would do anything, that little tiny steps of progress would add up. Um, I'm not even been able to go consistently to Zumba, and that's only once a week, and my body's still holding on to the fitness it's gaining, which is remarkable. I never thought that would happen. I, I thought I'd be having to start at square one every week, but every week I can feel my body responding better and better and better. Uh, so one, trust baby steps. If you need to start out by just walking around your backyard, just do that once a week for two minutes. Or if you can do more, do more. But baby steps are critical, and I'm here to say you can trust them. And that's huge. And number two is I can't set definable, measurable goals like you're supposed to. Like, I'm going to bench press a certain amount of weight, or I'm going to be able to run a certain amount of miles, or even walk a certain amount of miles, or I'm going to gain a certain amount of muscle mass. Uh, that messes with me psychologically, because when I get to my goal date and that goal isn't reached, then I get really frustrated and just want to quit. So I only have made a goal that's to get my body stronger. And stronger to me means anything I do that's healthy for my body, uh, that counts as getting stronger. So um, even when I'm sick in bed, there are things I can be doing to get stronger, like drinking lots of fluids and getting extra sleep and resting and not stressing about missing Zumba that night. Um, because that's just the way my body needs to get stronger that day and tomorrow will be different or next week will be different. So I'm learning that this very vague goal is really working for me because I don't get discouraged when the results that I would have measured in the past aren't happening. So my new results are that I keep going. I'm not in this black and white, all or nothing thinking anymore. I show up to Zumba and I enjoy it. I modify it and uh, I'm getting stronger. So I just wanted to share those things with you tonight. If you have more questions, please get a hold of me and I'd be glad to talk about this with you. Um, I can even do some more videos about it if you have specific questions. Um, but I know exercise and chronic illness is a really tough issue and um, I feel like I'm on to a couple of things right now that can help more than just me. So join me here, sub subscribe to my channel, make sure you don't miss a video and spread the word please because my goal is to encourage women and to advocate for those with chronic illness and I need your help doing that. So share, spread the word, comment, be involved in this community and I will see you later. 
Good night, everyone.